We now appreciate that it's alteration in genes, the genetic material that really is responsible for the early changes that lead to cancer. Normal genetic material in a healthy individual control, leads to control of um, cell growth and cell death and all of the behaviors of cells um, that I've described previously. And we now understand that it's lesions in the genetic material, the DNA, mutations in those genes that alter those important regulatory pathways and lead to excessive cell growth and ultimately uh, tumor, excessive cell growth or inadequate cell death and then the tumor. These genetic changes can be uh, inherited and passed from uh, parent to child or they can be acquired over time by exposure to chemical carcinogens, too much sunlight, um, etc. We now have a, a much deeper understanding of some of the basic causes, the basic genetic causes that give rise to tumors. And this understanding has come from a variety of approaches. It's come from trying to recreate uh, a cancer phenotype, looking at cells in culture, and it's also come from direct analysis of um, patients and their families where there is an inherited sensitivity to the development of cancer. And I'll just give you a couple of examples of this approach and the powerful impact that this new genetic understanding has on our ability to think about creative ways to address this clinical problem. We know, as I mentioned, that some cancers run in families. You've heard about you know, friends or colleagues, perhaps, that have a, um, a high probability of colon cancer in their family. And uh, although this doesn't happen very frequently, we now can actually look um, at, at populations of individuals and identify um, these inherited patterns, this high, uh, high predisposition to particular types of cancer. And one really unique resource that allows us to do this is the Utah Population Database, which has um, extensive pedigree information going back many generations and over 20 million records linked to the pedigree information. So we have a very, very clear picture of um, clinical information linked to um, the uh, family structures. And with that approach, one can identify families, for example, that have a high, high probability of uh, developing colon cancer, and then actually search through the DNA provided by individuals in those families for the particular segment of DNA that tracks with the um, inherited predisposition to colon cancer. And in that type of strategy, uh, many human disease genes have been identified, and these include the colon cancer gene, APC, as well as uh, breast cancer genes, BRCA1 and BRCA2, and the melanoma uh, gene, P16.